fires up the smoker, weary from hours of prep. Armed with sauce, meat, and tin foil. Right for all this stuff. With his trusty steed by his side. You like my girlfriend? No peace for this buckaroo until the growling of stomach subsides. Do y'all want potato salad? 11 o'clock hits. We are open. Draw. Gotta have some tea. <laughs> Say howdy to Kentuckiana's barbecue cowboy. Can I get three slabs in a man tray, please? He serves up pulled pork and brisket to all y'all in Kentuckiana faster than you can say. America. Oh, and ribs. One rib left. If you're lucky. Ribs are gone. The allure rounding up just as many customers as the mouth-watering grub. Sweet. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the taste. Every time you turn around, expect to see me. There's one time you'll turn around and I'll be there. Just like John Wayne, you never know where he's gonna be. You want the dogs? You just know he's gonna take care of business. Oh yeah, exactly. yeah you need the dogs. Yeah. This is kind of hard to beat. Just awesome, awesome food. The flavor of it's amazing, it's always tender, it's always fresh, it's always good. His beginnings, nothing like a Western, the barbecue cowboy started selling something else. 13 years ago, the real estate market tank. I was in real estate. And he eventually bought a smoker and thought he'd open a barbecue biz called Holy Smokes in an old church. Clever, but a trip to Sam's Club changed things, and for once, it didn't have anything to do with those samples. This woman was absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And she walks right up and she says, sir, are you the barbecue cowboy? I'm like, damn right I am. <laughs> Whatever you say. I'm like, no more holy smokes. I'm the barbecue cowboy. <laughs> That's how it started. And I haven't seen her since. I don't know if she was an angel or... It seemed to work out for him. He was kind of the OG food truck all those years ago. There you go. Love you guys, but I kind of got it started for you, so... <laughs> and today, this is the only source of income he needs. 20's good. The old dusty trail may not be too far away, though. His son opting for a baseball cap instead of the family cowboy hat. Top 100 in the draft prospects right now, so. And he's apparently pretty good. Do it again. Yeah, hopefully Matthew gets drafted by the Rangers or the, the Astros, then I'm gone. This town ain't big enough for that career. So this master of the smoker will hang his hat on the years of intrigue and good food. Have a good weekend. Until the sun officially sets. See ya. On the barbecue cowboy. In Sellersburg, Chris Suter, WDRB News.